all right welcome back to irlg and today well i guess this will be on the main channel um but we are going over this box that just came in the mail so in celebration of their 20th anniversary a company called eonon has sent me their q50 pro which is a something for my car i'll show you soon they also sent me a backup camera as well so that is very cool today's video is sponsored by the q50 pro so we will put the backup camera here for now um i will not be unboxing it today um it might still be in the video later but just today while i'm recording this i won't be because i'm currently dressed up in a tuxedo for a formal event i gotta go to after this so yeah anyway let's get our box cutters let's become gus fring and unbox this all right, I'm gonna hop in my car for this, just so we can have a little bit of a better unboxing experience here. Let me get the wide lens on so you can see a little better. And right here, as you can see, Eonon, haha, <laughs> goodbye to this. So the unboxing comes with these settings for the backup camera as well. Um, we also have a few harness um, diagrams and I believe the manual there. And if we open this up, hopefully, there it is right there. Oh my goodness, dude, I'm so excited for this. All right, I filmed um, my like 40, for 40 minutes of the unboxing and installation, but I got a really bad angle of it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for a tutorial um, from Eonon themselves on how to install it. But this will kind of show my struggle um, because since my car is old and not a brand new car, I had some struggles with my car itself. Nothing wrong with Eonon, just my car itself, so. We're just gonna roll a montage for about a minute of what happened in those 40 minutes of blood, sweat, and tears. But again, I'm not saying that the installation process is bad. My car just made it really worse. All right, so I need a few things out of here. Let me just dump all the accessories out real quick. All right, all right, cool, we got that out. Now we gotta unscrew the things that hold in the radio. That sounded loud. What? You'll have it. What? Yeah. If anyone is asking, I have car problems. I'll be late. Screws out of the unit frame. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the key so I can pop the car into neutral. So we can have a little more room with the shifter. This will be a little bit difficult. They did this on a manual car. All right, there we go. And now the car is in neutral. So I will just don't worry about my fuel pump. It's freaking loud, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm still recording on this phone, but that is freaking amazing. We got it up so far. This is frustrating, but that's because I don't know too much about how to work on these. So we don't have everything installed, but that's a-okay because ugh, it's just too tedious right now and I'm already late to the event that I'm supposed to be going to, FYI. So, but should be able to fit it right here. If it's flush like that, that looks so amazing, dude. That's GPS, I don't need that yet. I don't need the USB yet, or that yet. Oh my god, serious, dude? That took a while, but it is installed. I will record another video tomorrow about it. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Oh, I finally did it. Okay, so I was late to my concert because um, of it, but I got it set up in the parking lot. That looks so cool. So after a few days, do I think that the Eonon Q50 stereo is worth the money? Yes, 1000% yes. It is absolutely amazing. I've had zero issues with it. It turns right on when I turn the ignition on. And it's just great. This is the theme I got on it right now. It's pretty nice. Um, there's some apps here that I can go. I can access Netflix right here, which brings me to Netflix, as you can see right here. I cannot because I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi right now. I can also do YouTube. I'm also not connected to my Wi-Fi right now. But one of my favorite things is the DSP app right here, where is an equalizer where you can adjust every single pitch. And you also have modes right here to do as well. So that is really cool. Surround sound as well. You can adjust where the sound is if it's in the driver's seat or the middle. I choose the middle. Sounds the fullest that way. But if you want it even louder, driver's seat would be the way to go. For zone, um, this kind of controls where the subs are. So each speaker pretty much has a little bit of bass in it and you can adjust the sub gain um, and the frequency and stuff like that. So that's cool. 
and right here is all with the subs right here so i got my base boost up to nine it really transforms the base that's all i will say it is really good i will try to insert a clip now of a song it will not be long because it is copyrighted it's just amazing base filter you can also somewhat protect protect the subs i have them both almost on zero they're at like five or ten right now just because you know i don't want to blow my subs i believe that's what it's for but anyway another really cool thing over here is t-link right here and well yeah it is pretty much carplay i'm now connected to carplay as you can see it's recording there and yeah we have it completely and it is completely wireless there are no wires to my phone at all um, i do have my charger but that's not connected at all um, there's also Android Auto on here, and it's just so cool. There's also a car app right here, which just takes me back to the car, but I can always go back in here. I have my calendar there. Um, I can also go to my settings. Um, I actually have a lot here, which is really cool. Driving focus, we can always do that as well, and it silences some stuff. Uh, but anyway, so we have Google Maps here as well. I'm not going to show the street names, but we also have, uh, if I exit here, we also have Apple Maps, which for some reason it's taking me to Google Maps and not Apple Maps. I guess that's just the default thing. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here's Apple Maps so right there. Apple Maps is there as well. Anyway, I'm going to go home before I dox myself. Apple Music as well as there. Messages as well. And then this is kind of the home screen right here. As you can see, there's maps right there. And yeah, we also got Spotify and that works really good. Anyway, going back to home here, we have the live time by the second as well. As you can see, it does show the second on the time right there. So that is really accurate because it's set like by default. You don't have to set it manually right here and try to time it perfectly. It just automatically goes to what time it actually is. Also an actual GPS right here, which opens up Google Maps. You will have to plug in a GPS in the back right here, which I'm not going to do because I do have CarPlay. So um, it's currently kind of just sitting in the back of my car with all of the parts that I've taken out. Um, I'm going to be taking those out soon because I'm dropping my car off in two days to get this dent fixed. Finally, it's about time. Really excited to see the car um, and how it looks. But uh, yeah, the installation process was a little annoying um, towards the end. Um, I got it in and stuff, but I wasn't able to screw the radio back in actually. So currently this brown panel right here is actually holding it in. It's really stable though. So I'm not really too worried about it. Um, I'm having some alignment issues with this. I'm not really sure. I guess it's just not pushed all the way in, but normally it would look like this. Right now it's kind of like that. It's not too big of a deal because it's all the way in right here and right here is completely fine. So I'm not too worried about it. And moving the climate system there was also really easy. That's also not really clamped in, but it's staying in place perfectly fine. So I have zero issue with that. If you guys have this set up, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any tips on how to fix that, let me know. But it's not bothering me, so it's not too big of a deal. But anyways, once again, I definitely do think that the Eonon Q50 Pro is worth it for sure. The installation took me about 40 minutes with some hiccups. But if you know what you're doing and your car is not as... Um, old and rickety as mine is um, you will definitely do it way easier than i did now obviously that is for the bmw process they, they do also support gm products and some other ones um, so that will also be um, for that so yeah this video again is sponsored by eonon so thanks to them for sending me out with this one and also somewhere in there they also sent me a backup cam but this video is mainly sponsored by the q50 pro i will install the backup camera in a later video just not right now because i do not have the time for that right now unfortunately but um they just kind of wanted me to do a video with my thoughts right here there are plenty more apps as well on here um quick pick i also got royal match which is just a mobile game that i found on google play and it actually opens up and it works um hopefully see in here i can also turn the volume up um the stream of functions do work the buttons as you can see it does indeed work this is taking forever to open i guess because the app is just dumb but that's not the q50 pro don't worry stream well i'm not really sure what that is oh okay so i guess you can bind some buttons there holy cow there's so my gosh so many oh that is it's a lot of buttons <laughs> anyway so yeah that customization is great you can also have an obd2 port which you plug in over there and it also gives you a proper dyno um, of your car if that makes sense it shows your oil pressure you can do but um it kind of just has this stuff as well which i believe is also with the obd2 cable and um yeah i think i've covered everything there's something on the play store that's really cool which you can pretty much tune the car not exactly tune it but just program it so one thing is that uh, with with the key something really cool is that if i lock the car real quick and then i hold unlock for a second hopefully give me a minute sometimes it takes a second might not work right now because i'm inside the car okay i don't i don't think it's working that's okay oh there we go so as you can see those come out those 
rear windows pop out right there and my sunroof does indeed open which is really cool but something bmw doesn't have is when you lock it and then hold the lock button the windows don't close but with the with the app you are easily able to do that by just turning it on i don't know why bmw doesn't have it on by default but it's whatever anyway i also can um adjust my turn signals so right now i have aftermarket uh, tail lights in and um well yeah as you can see um there's a light on my dash and when my turn signals are on but i'm able to easily stop that by programming the app which is so cool and as you can see my drls are on and they're very ugly with my halos um so but i'm able to turn those off i'm able to code them so they can turn off um, which is really cool but yeah this is posted on the main channel as per request of eonon so yeah but the normal vlogs will continue back on irlg so yeah anyways that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one